So next is some great greatness, and the subject is Conan the Big Jobber. Just playing, Con- just playing Conan. That's a, the first line. That's right. Nice line. Okay, glad you're back yelling at Disco. Hopefully you bury Billy soon for being a wrestling informer, despite him reporting zero wrestling news in K100 in about three or four weeks. All he does is talk about his opinions. No one gives a flying about what Billy thinks on any subject and give us Mark news or, or Foff. This is That's like, not true. But, Great but, greatness, because like we said, the clip of him, me and it, us, us arguing about Billy's opinions got a lot of views on YouTube and a lot of uh, comments. So you guys, But you guys don't get it. People, like, uh, you, you guys complain about the guy. Nobody wants an echo chamber. Okay, right. It's well, like the fans. They think they know about us, the right? business, but they really don't. Because a, right. a lot of times right. when I talk to fans about what would you like to see, and I'm like, dude, that's not going to make any money. You know, right. you're here to make money. Right. Okay. So next is from the question for K100. Last night, Wrestling Bios released his episode on the Great American Bash 98, which had Goldberg versus Conan on the card. Here's what I want to know. I understand that Goldberg was being pushed at the same time you were just doing your job. I put him over. But what I really want to know is, what was the backstage reaction to that? You'd just become a member of the Wolfpack about three weeks earlier. Now in the first pay-per-view since the faction form, one of the guys is being squashed in pay-per-view and then jumped after the match by Henning and Root. Do you remember how you and Nash reacted to this booking? No, I don't. But I ah. do, rem- I do remember ahead. that, you know, I just thought I didn't like it because I'd never been squashed in three seconds. You know, mm-hmm. I was always the guy doing the squashing. Right. But, uh, um, but I did understand, hey, I'm just another guy trying to get him over, just like somebody yeah. is going to get me over. Or, you know what I'm saying? So that right. was and, my mentality. And, and we all would be in the buildings each night and hear the pops the guy was getting. Right. So it was like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, right. It wasn't right. like you would do job like, to somebody. Right. right. You're, you're, you're doing the job to Goldberg. To the, Hottest guy in the company, and, yeah. and your match is going to be one of the biggest pops of the night. Okay, right. <laughs> so it's like you know, so you know. yeah. And people yeah. always reflect on Goldberg versus Hogan or Goldberg versus Raven as like his big, you know, step up no, to the next level. No, he beat a lot of guys quick, but that's I'm what saying, yeah, yeah, but you know, yeah. What I'm saying is, Conan was the biggest star that he beat at that time. That was an obvious like he's going to the next level because they had him go over on Conan like that. I just, I just wonder if Conan would have been given the. Um, given the green light to book cross like Goldberg in trip in triple I would have there, you know I would have yeah but yeah. there's no way you could do that there right mm-hmm. this, you know. yeah but but the, but but bro the Goldberg stuff had never really done before in WCW yeah you could but have it's actually different. Convinced these guys look. these yeah, guys yeah, right. but but triple A's thing was like okay we're paying this guy's guarantee and his planes and his hotel for him to do this for 30 seconds and I go yeah but the payoff's gonna be great but they didn't see it you know yeah. 